my beloved sons, on the anniversary of that day, when Christ conferred His priesthood on His apostles and on us, are you resolved to renew in the presence of your bishop and God's holy people the promises you once made? Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conform to Him, denying yourselves and confirming those promises about the sacred duties towards Christ's Church, which prompted by love of Him, you willingly and joyfully pledge on the day of your priestly ordination? Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God in the Holy Eucharist and other liturgical rites and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the head and shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for souls? Please rise. As for you, dearest sons and daughters, pray for your priests that the Lord may pour out His gifts abundantly upon them and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ, the High Priest, so that they may lead you to Him who is the source of salvation. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. And pray also for me, that I may be faithful to the apostolic office entrusted to me in my lowliness, and that in your midst I may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. May the Lord keep us all in His charity, and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Amen. Keys of Keys. Please be seated. The Keys of Keys is a liturgical action that symbolizes the seal and the pledge of the communion and unity of the Spirit found in the bond of peace. The bishop and his priest will now have their traditional Keys of Keys.
the blessing of oils and consecration of the prism. Please rise for the rite of the blessing of the oils and the consecration of the prism. Brothers and sisters, with gratitude to God, Lord of life and death, we gather the oil, fruit of the earth, and of human work. Let us bless the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who sent His Son to heal those who are brokenhearted, to cure our infirmities. Let us invoke the spirit of consolation, that all those who shall be anointed with His oil may be freed from sin and receive consolation and life. O God, Father of all consolation, who through your Son have willed to heal the infirmities of the sea, listen favorably to this prayer of faith. Send down from heaven, we pray, your Holy Spirit, the power of me. Upon this rich substance of this oil, which you were pleased to bring forth from vigorous green trees to restore our bodies, so that by your holy blessing, this oil may be for anyone who is anointed with it, its safeguard for body, mind, and spirit, to take away every pain, every infirmity, and every sickness. May it become your holy oil, O Lord, blessed by you for our use. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, to God, the Almighty Father, that He may bless and sanctify this fragrant oil, and may those outwardly signed with it be inwardly anointed and made worthy of divine redemption. accept the joyful homage of thanksgiving which the church renders you through our voice for in the beginning you commanded the earth to produce fruit bearing plants and among them the olive tree to bring forth the great richness of this oil that its fruit might serve for the making of sacred reason David too foreseeing by the spirit of prophecy the sacraments of your grace, sang of oil, making our faces radiant with joy. And when in former days the world's sin were washed away in the great flood, the dove showing forth by an olive branch, a figure of the gift to come, announced that peace had been restored to the earth. In these latter times all things have been manifestly fulfilled, for when all sinful deeds are washed away in the waters of baptism, an anointing with oil make our faces joyful and serene. Moreover, to your servant Moses, you gave the command that he make his brother Aaron wash first with water, a priest by pouring of this oil. To this there came still greater dignity when your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, insisted of being washed by John on Jordan's water, for as your Holy Spirit in the likeness of a dove was sent upon him from on high, your voice then followed and declared him to be your only begotten Son, well pleasing to you, and you were seen clearly to affirm him, just as your prophet David has foretold, as the one anointed with the oil of gladness above his companions. To you, O therefore, O Lord, we pray that by your blessing you may graciously sanctify the rich substance of this oil you have created and permeated with the strength of the Holy Spirit by means too of the power at work in your Christ, from whose holy name is made the prison with which you have appointed, anointed your priests and kings, prophets and martyrs, for those to be reborn through the spiritual bath of baptism, make the prison you have created the holy sign of the fullness of life and salvation that through the sanctification imparted by the anointing and with the corruption of the first birth now cleansed they may be made temple of your majesty and give forth the fragrance of an innocence of life pleasing to you by the nature of the sacrament you have established may they be endowed with the dignity of king priest and prophet and clothed with the garment of that incorruption which is your gift. And may this oil become the prism of salvation for those who will, born, who will be born again of water and the Holy Spirit, and make them partakers of the eternal life, shares of heavenly glory, through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. 